Hey everybody, I'm Doug. I'm uh, back to talk to you about uh, picking out a 5950 cap. We're going to talk about a few things that I've learned over the years to look for um, in finding the right fit for me. So we're going to talk about uh, the size of the cap, uh, the crown, and some of the details with that, and then on to some of the interior details of the cap as well. So let's get started. The hat I'm holding has the logo on the side. Of course, before the 2016 postseason, baseball postseason, the on-field caps did not have that new era logo. One thing you'll notice is some of the stores, lid stores and other shops may still have some without that. So if you're looking for a cap without that, you may be able to find one. When I go into a shop and I'm trying to pick out a hat, I'm a natural seven and a half, but what I do is usually try and find a row of hats that I'm looking for and grab usually an eighth of a size below and an eighth of a size above. So you want to get multiple hats to try on because you never know which one's going to fit you best. Good example here is this tiger's cap on my left is a seven and a half. It's a great fit. I really didn't have to stretch or shape it that much. And then the Washington Nationals here, I actually got this because it uh, was an old school without the new era logo, um, but I had the on-field cap style that I was looking for. And this is actually a seven and three eighths, but in one of my other videos, I show you how you can stretch that a little bit and shape it to your head. So I went with the seven and three eighths because it was the better cap for me. So always look for a size above and below your natural size, and that gives you more variety of what to look for. The three hats I've got here, there's a big difference in the crown. You might not be able to see it that close up, but when you try these on, and depending on the fit that you're looking for, you pick up on them pretty quickly. The Dodgers cap on my left is one of my best all-time fits, and I think I like it because it's got kind of a nice slope to the crown, and it's overall a little bit lower and a little bit softer in the corners. So you can see kind of the differences as we go up with these hats. The Nationals is a little bit higher, and then this Padres cap on my right has just got a lot of volume in the crown, and uh, it's, it's very upright. It's taller than the Dodgers cap, and you can see that in some of the photos on screen now. Again, going back to this Dodgers cap, I've got a nice uh, smoothed out corner here. Uh, this Brewers cap that I have is a little bit um, more squared off corners. Depending on the look that you like, maybe that's something that you enjoy, pairing that with a flat bill. Um, I will probably shape this a little bit more to my head. On some caps you'll notice that uh, it's kind of a nice uh, vertical flow. The seam just traces down to the bell right here. On others you'll see that it gets tucked in a little bit. Um, you get a little curvature there and it pulls in. So that is going to change the look and again that's personal preference when you're looking at the caps that you want to buy. The bottom line is comfort. You want these caps to feel good. There's a lot of things on the inside of the caps that are small details, but they will contribute a lot to the comfort. The first thing I like to look for is flip it over and check the sweatband to see if there's any irregularities or bumps. Um, this could come from the logo pressing through. Some of the older caps, the logos kind of come through and, and raise the surface of the buckram. And that can sometimes press into your forehead, especially after you've worn it for 30 minutes or so something you will not notice trying it on for a couple of minutes in the store. So pay attention to any differences in the surfaces there. Um, next thing is to really pay attention to some of the seaming. So all the 5950s nowadays have the branded seaming. So the seam cover strips here that are stitched on. Uh, a lot of the mid uh, age caps, I mean, those that might have been on the shelf for a little while, I've noticed that they still have kind of a raised seam underneath that strip. That's another thing that can irritate, especially where you're getting contact with your forehead there. Um, so you just want to kind of feel, and, and if you can find one with more flat seams, that's probably a better thing for your head in the long run. Um, last, this is a great example of, of really a hat that's only a couple, couple months old. This is a special collection of Detroit Tigers caps. And this one, it's got gold branded seams as part of the collection, but I've noticed these are amazingly flat. And the surface of the crown on the inside, the sweatband, everything is really smooth. Um, so this is a terrific hat because it's not gonna press into your forehead. You don't get kind of the fatigue from wearing it. 
Um, and this has become a really comfortable hat just because they've really tightened up the details and paid attention to uh, the interior surfaces. So, I think one of the biggest things to remember is that uh, all these caps are handmade and you'll find a lot of variation in the store. And what I find is it helps to wear a favorite cap into the store so that you have a reference for benchmarking against. If you got a cap that you really like, wear that into the store. You can try it on and keep going back to that one to see if you're uh, getting on the right track to finding the right cap that day. Thanks, and we'll see you soon.